Hello class, this video is to catch you up in case you took a snow day on February 5th. We just saw the gains from trade, which is the sum of the consumer surplus and the producer surplus. Now what's really interesting about this market equilibrium point here is that it is efficient, and by that I mean we maximize the gains from trade. Gains from trade is the sum of the consumer surplus and the producer surplus. So let's see what happens if we don't produce at this equilibrium point. We're going to get what we call dead weight loss. So let's just imagine that instead of producing this quantity that would be the market clearing quantity, we produce a lower amount. Call it this. So Q low. Alright, so let's just say that we are going to chop off these last few transactions. We're not going to produce anything to the right of that line. Well, what happens is this triangle here would have been consumer surplus had those trades occurred and this triangle right here would have been producer surplus had those trades occurred however since we're not making those transactions these gains from trade all in this triangle are not going to happen so this whole big triangle right here is deadweight loss which we will abbreviate DWL and what's happening is that we would have had gains from trade, but we don't if these units here are not transacted. So it looks like producing less than the equilibrium quantity is a bad thing. Well, let's look at what happens when we produce more than the equilibrium quantity. So let's make a quantity up here. We'll call it Q high. Sorry. Now, if we go up here... All right, well, let's just say we're producing this quantity. All right, well, let's continue. Let's get this equilibrium price going over here, too. What do you notice? Right here, above this equilibrium price, uh, we have the supply curve. This means that the... Remember, the supply curve is a cost curve. This is going to tell us the marginal cost of producing that unit right here, Q high. And this is going to give us our marginal benefit right here off of the demand curve. So here's our marginal benefit. So what we find is that the cost is higher than the benefit. That means that the producer, it's costing them more than they can sell it for. And a consumer would have to pay more money than they value it. So that doesn't make any sense. That's going to make both of them worse off. So in this case, if we're producing Q high, the deadweight loss is the area of this triangle right here. All right, so this is going to be our deadweight loss. And notice that deadweight loss is always shaped like a triangle. 